video tutorial will teach you how to make a dinosaur pendant. First, we'll crochet its main body, then we'll crochet its dinosaur fin and tail. At last, we'll assemble them together. Now, let's crochet its main body. First of all, make a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it to your index finger. Make a loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and your middle finger. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There is one loop on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through the loop on hook. The magic ring is done. Now let's start making round one. In round one, we need to work six single crochets. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. Let's zoom in. The V shape is a stitch. Place a marker under both strands of the V. This is where we insert a hook to start the next round. The second single crochet is a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done, and the third single crochet is a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Continue to work the remaining three single crochets in the same way. The fourth single crochet. The fifth single crochet. The sixth single crochet. Six single crochets are done. The V shape is a stitch. Let's count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now put the yarn tail to close the ring. Put the yarn tail hard till it can't be pulled. We need to make slip stitch and a chain to join the round. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. Remove the marker. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Put the first loop through the second loop. And pull it hard. A slip stitch is done. It doesn't count as a stitch. Round 1 is finished. Now let's start making round 2. First, work a chain as the turning stitch. 
yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through loop on the hook. A chain is done. It doesn't count at a stage either. Now let's start making round two. In round two, we need to work six increases. An increase means working two single crochet in the same stitch. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Hide the yarn tail by putting it on top of the hook. First, work a single crochet. Place a marker on the first stitch. And remember to do that on the first stitch of every round. Then insert a hook into the same stitch and work a single crochet. Two single crochet is done, an increase is done. The second increase. First work a single crochet. A single crochet is done, then work another single crochet in the same stitch. The second increase done, the third one first work a single crochet. Then work another single crochet in the same stitch. third increase is done. Continue to work remaining three increases in the same way. The fourth increase. The fifth increase. The sixth increase. Six increases are done. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. Slip stitch is done, round 2 is finished, then work a chain as the turning stitch of round 3. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on hook. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 3. In round 3 we need to repeat set off, 1 single crochet, 1 increase for 6 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Work a single crochet, a single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Insert a hook into the next stitch. First, work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Then work another single crochet in the same stitch. An increase is done. The first set is done. The second set. First work a single crochet. Then work an increase in the next stitch. The second set is done. Third set. A single crochet. An increase. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining three sets in the same way. The fourth set.
the face set. The six set. Six sides are done. Now let's work slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round three is finished. Then work a chain as turning stitch of round four. Yarn around the hook. Put a yarn to the loop on hook. A chain is done. Now let's start making round four. In round four, you need to repeat the set of two single crochets, one increase for six times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Then insert a hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Two single crochets are done. Then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The first set is done. Second set. First work two single crochets. Then work an increase. The second side is done, third set. First two single crochets. Then an increase. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining three sets in the same way. The fourth set. The face set. The six set. Six sets are done. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round four is finished. Then work a chain as turning stitch of round five. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 5. In round 5 we need to repeat the set of 3 single crochets 1 increase for 6 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches.
three single crochets are done, work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means work in two single crochet in the same stitch. An increase is done. The first set is done. Second set. Work three single crochets. One, two, three. Three single crochets are done, then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase is done. Third set. First, work three single crochets. Then work an increase. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining three sets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive parts. Six sets are done. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 5 is finished. Work a chain as turning stitch. Now let's start making round 6. In round 6, we need to repeat the set of 4 single crochets, 1 increase for 6 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done, place a marker on the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Four single crochets are done. You can count the stitches. The V-shape is a stitch. One, two, three, four. Work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means work in two single crochets in the same stitch. The first set is done, the second set. First, work four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Four single crochets are done. Then work an increase in the next stitch. The second set is done. Third set, four single crochets. One increase. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining three sets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive part. Six sets are done. Now let's work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 6 is finished. Don't work a chain as turning stitch. From round 7 to 11 we need to work 36 single crochet in every round. One single crochet in every stitch. Now let's start making round 7. 
insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done, place a marker on the first stitch. Continue to work the remaining single crochets in the same way. We need to work 36 single crochets in every round. We will skip the repetitive part. In round 11, we have finished 36 single crochets. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done, round 11 is finished. You can count the rounds. This is round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven rounds. Now work a chain. A chain is done. Now let's start making round twelve. In round twelve, we need to repeat the set of eight single crochets, one increase for four times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Now work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Eight single crochets are done. Work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The first set is done, the second set. First, work eight single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight single crochets are done. Then work an increase in the next stitch. The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining two sets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive part. Four sets are done. Let's work a sleeve stitch to join the round. A sleeve stitch is done. Round 12 is finished. Don't work a chain as turning stitch of round 13. From round 13 to 18, we need to work 40 single crochets in every round. Now let's start making round 13. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Continue to work the remaining single crochets in the same way. We we'll skip the repeated parts. Round 18 is finished. Work one chain. Now let's start making round 19. In round 19, we need to repeat the set of 8 single crochets, 1 decrease. A decrease means combine 2 stitches into 1 stitch. 
insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Now work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight single crochets are done. Now work a decrease. Let's zoom in. This is a stitch. This is the front loop of this stitch. This is the front loop of the next stitch. We will insert a hook into the front loop of two adjacent stitches separately. Now let's work a decrease. Insert a hook into the front loop of this stitch. Then insert a hook into the front loop of the next stitch. There are three loops on the hook. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. There are still two loops on the hook. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. A decrease is done. Second set. First work eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight single crochets are done, then work a decrease. Insert a hook into the front loops of two adjacent stitches separately. There are three loops on the hook. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. There are still two loops on the hook. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. A decrease is done. Third set. First eight single crochets. Eight single crochets are done, then a decrease. Is it a hook into the front loops of two adjacent stitches separately? There are three loops on the hook. Hook the yarn and pull it through the first two loops. There are still two loops on the hook. Then hook the yarn and pull it through the last two loops. A decrease is done. The third set is done. Continue to work the remaining set in the same way. We will skip the repetitive parts. The fourth set is done. Now let's work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 19 is finished. Then work a chain. Now let's start making round 20. In round 20, we need to repeat the set of 4 single crochets, 1 decrease for 6 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Now work 1 single crochet in each of the next 3 stitches. Three single crochets are done. Now work a decrease. A decrease means to combine two stitches into one stitch. A 
a decrease is done. The first set is done. The second set first did four single crochets. One, two, three. Four. Four single crochets are done. Now work decrease. A decrease is done. The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining four sets in the same way. We we'll skip the repetitive part. Six sets are done. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 20 is finished. Let's start making round 21. In round 21, we need to repeat a set of three single crochets, one decrease for six times. First, work a chain. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Now work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Three single crochets are done. Now work a decrease. A decrease means to combine two the stitches into one stitch. A decrease is done. Second set. First, work three single crochets. Two. Three. Three single crochets are done, then work a decrease. A decrease is done. Continue to work the remaining four sets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive part. S six sets are done. Now let's work slip stitch during the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 21 is finished. Then work a chain. Now let's start making round 22. In round 22, we need to repeat a set of two single crochets, one decrease for six times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Insert a hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Two single crochets are done. Now work a decrease. A decrease means to combine two stitches into one stitch. A decrease is done. The first set is done. Second set. First work two single crochets. Then work a decrease. The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining four sets in the same way. We we'll skip the repetitive parts. Six sides are done. Now work a slip stitch joined around. A slip stitch is done. Round 22 is finished. Then work a chain as turning stitch. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 23. 
in round 23 we need to repeat a set of one single crochet one decrease for six times insert a hook into first stitch and work a single crochet a single crochet is done place a marker on the first stitch then work a decrease A decrease is done. The first set is done. The second set. First, work a single crochet. Then work a decrease. The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining four sets in the same way. We skip the repetitive parts. Six sets are done. Now work a slip stitch joined around. Round 23 is finished. Let's stuff the filling cotton into the fabric. Stuff the filling in this hole like this until it's full. Now it's done. Then work a chain. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 24. This is the last round. In round 24 we need to work 6 decreases. Insert a hook into the front loops of two adjacent stitches separately. A decrease is done. Place a marker on this stitch. The second decrease. The third decrease. Three decreases are done. Continue to work remaining three decreases in the same way. We skip the repetitive parts. Six decreases are done. Now work a slip stitch joined around. A slip stitch is done. Leave the yard tail slightly longer. Cut off the yard. Pull out the yard tail. Pass the yard through the needle. Close the last round. Pass the needle through the front loops of every stitch.
who they are hard. Hide your tail. Cut up the yarn. The main body of the dinosaur is finished. Now let's crochet the tail. First, make a magic crane. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and your middle finger. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There's one loop on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The match crane is done. Now let's start making round one. In round one, we need to work six single crochets. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. As to me, this V shape is a stitch. Place a marker on the both strands of the V. This is where we insert a hook to start the next round. The second single crochet. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second crochet is done. The third one. Insert a hook into the loop on your middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Continue to work the remaining three single crochets in the same way. The fourth single crochet. The fifth single crochet. The sixth single crochet. Six single crochets are done. The V shape is stitch. Let's count the stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put the yarn tail to close the ring. Put the yarn tail hard until it can't be pulled. We need to make a slip stitch and a chain to join every round. Now work a slip stitch to join the round. Remove the marker. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Put the first loop through the second loop. A 
A sleep stitch is done. It doesn't count as a stitch. Round one is finished. Now let's start making round two. First, work a chain as turning stitch of the round two. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. A chain is done. It doesn't count as stitch as well. Now let's start making round two. In round two, we need to repeat a set of two single crochets, one increase for two times. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Insert a hook into the first stitch. Head the yarn tail by putting it on top of the hook. Work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Remember to do that on the first stitch of every round. Insert the hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Two single crochets are done. Work and increase in the next stitch. Insert a hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Then work another single crochet in the same stitch. An increase is done. The first set is finished. Now let's start making the second set. First, work two single crochet. Two single crochets are done. Then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. An increase is done. Turn the fabric over. Work a slip stitch joined around. A slip stitch is done. Round two is finished. Cut off the yarn. Now let's make round three. First, work a chain. In round three, we need to repeat a set of one single crochet, one increase for four times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Place a marker on the first stitch. Then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. An increase is done. The first set is done. Second set, first work one single crochet. Then work an increase in the next stitch.
The second set is done. Continue to work the remaining two sets in the same way. We will skip the repetitive parts. Four sets are done. Now work a slip stitch during the round. A slip stitch is done. Round 3 is finished. Now let's start making round 4. First work a chain. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 4. In round 4 you need to repeat the set of 2 single crochets, 1 increase for 4 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. Place a marker on the first stitch. Insert a hook into the next stitch and work a single crochet. Two single crochets are done, then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The first set is done, second set, first two single crochets. Two single crochets are done, then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase is done, the second set is done. Continue to work the remaining two sets in the same way. We we'll skip the repetitive parts. Four sets are done. Now let's work a slip stitch joined around. A slip stitch is done. Round four is finished. Now let's start making round 5. Work a chain. A chain is done. Now let's start making round 5. In round 5, we need to repeat the set of 3 single crochets, 1 increase for 4 times. Insert a hook into the first stitch and work a single crochet. A single crochet is done, place a marker on the first stitch. Now work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Three single crochets are done, then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The first set is done, second set. First work three single crochets. One, two, three. Three single crochets are done, then work an increase in the next stitch. An increase is done, the second set is done. Continue to work the remaining two sets in the same way. We we'll skip the repetitive parts. Four sets are done. Now let's work a slip stitch joined around. A slip stitch is done. Round 5 is finished. Cut off the yarn. Leave the yarn tail longer.
pull out the yard tail. The tail of the dinosaur is finished. Now let's crochet the dinosaur feet. Wrap the yard around your left hand. Pinch the yard with your thumb and your middle finger. Tie a note in the yard. Put the hook on the right side of the yard. Yard around the hook counterclockwise. I will show you again. Yard around the hook counterclockwise. There's one loop on the hook. Pinch where the lines cross with your thumb and middle finger. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. Pull it hard. Now we need to work 22 chains. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. A chain is done. Let's do me. The V-shape is a stitch. This is the back loop of this stitch. Place a marker. The second chain. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. The third chain. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. The fourth chain. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through the loop on the hook. The fifth chain. The sixth chain. The seventh chain. Seven chains are done. Continue to work the remaining fifteen chains in the same way. We will skip the repetitive parts. Twenty two chains are done. You can count the stitches. The V shape is stitch. You can count the V. Skip the first two chains. Work a single crochet in the back loop of the third chain. Insert a hook into the back loop of the third chain. Hook the yard and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. Now work a double crochet in the back loop of the next chain. Yard around the hook. Insert a hook into the back loop of the next chain. Hook the yard and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yard around the hook and pull up the yard through first two loops on the hook. There are still two loops on the hook. Yard around the hook and pull the yard through the last two loops on the hook. A double crochet is done. Now work a single crochet in the back loop of the next chain. Insert a hook into the back loop of the next chain. Hook the yard and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yard around the hook. Put the yard through both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. Now work a slip stitch in the back loop of the next chain. 
is with a hook into the back loop of the next chain. Hook the yarn in a pull-up loop. There are two loops on the hook. Put the first loop through the second loop. A slip stitch is done. Now we need to repeat the set of one single crochet, three double crochet in the one stitches, one single crochet, one slip stitch for three times. Insert a hook into the back loop of the next chain. Work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Then work three double crochets in the back loop of the next chain. Yarn around the hook. Insert a hook in the back loop of the next chain. Work a double crochet. A double crochet is done. Then work another double crochet in the same chain. Two double crochets are done, then work another double crochet. Three double crochets are done. Work a single crochet in the back loop of the next chain. A single crochet is done. Now work a slip stitch in the back loop of the next chain. A slip stitch is done. The first set is done, the second set. First work a single crochet. Then work three double crochets in the next chain. One, two, three. Three double crochets are done, now work a single crochet. A single crochet is done, then work a slip stitch. A slip stitch is done, the second set is done, the third set first a single crochet. Then work three double crochets in the next chain. Three double crochets are done. Now work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Then work a slip stitch. A slip stitch is done. The third set is done. Now work a single crochet in the next chain. A single crochet is done. Work a double crochet in the next chain. A 
double crochet is done, work a single crochet. A single crochet is done. Now work a slip stitch in a marked stitch. A slip stitch is done. Leave the yarn longer, cut off the yarn. Put out the yarn tail. The dorsal fin is finished. We will sew the tail to the end of each round where we made slip stitches. The slip stitches look different. It's easy to recognize. The tail should be sewed between round 10 and 18. This is what it looks like when it's fixed. There are two pins you can count around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is round 10. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Remove the second pin. Insert the needle into here. Remove the first pin and pass the needle through here. Then through the stitch to count three stitches from here. The other side is the same. Now let's sew the tail. Insert the needle into the stitch on the tail. We need to pass the needle through every stitch. Now stuff with the fill and cut and into the fabric. Like this. Until it's full. After that continue to sew. Hide the yard tail. Cut up the yard. The tail is sewn to the main body. Now let's sew the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is also sewn onto the slip stitches. Use pins to fix it, like this. Then start from round one of the main body to round one of the tail. Pass the yarn through the needle. Insert the needle into the first round. The pass it through here. Put thing on top of the tail.
then pass the needle through the vein. Now insert needle into the first round. Hide the yard tail. Cut of the yard. Then hide this yard tail. The dorsal fin is set on the main body. Now let's install the eyes. The dorsal fin is in the center. Start from here. Count eight rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Between round eight and nine. And count two stitches from the center. The position of the pin is the eye. Between round 8 and 9, take out eyes. Remove the pin. Apply some glue here. Install the eye. The eyes are glued. We will sew the mouth. Count two rounds from the eyes. One, two. Insert needle into here. Then pass it through four stitches. Then we will sew the mouth. Hide the yard tail. Cut off the yard.
The mouth is finished. Now let's make the arms. Count two stitches from the eye. One round down from the mouth. Here. The other side is the same. Two stitches from the eye. And one round down from the mouth. Wrap the yarn around your left hand. Remove the pin. Insert the hook into here. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There's one loop on the hook. Now work four chains. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through the loop on the hook. The second chain. The third chain. The fourth chain. Four chains are done. Skip the first chain. Work a single crochet in the second chain. Insert a hook into the back loop of the stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn around the hook. Put the yarn through both loops on the hook. A single crochet is done. Now work one single crochet in each of the next two chains. Pull the yarn. Cut up the yarn. Pull out the yarn tail. Hide the yarn tail. Cut up the yarn. Then hide this yarn tail. Cut off the yarn. One arms is done. Continue to work the other arm in the same way. The dinosaur is finished.